Ah, that's such a classic click baity title, right? This one simple trick will help you learn code in record times. So what is that one simple trick? Do 20 minutes a day. That is the discipline. 20 minutes a day. So some of you are going, 20 minutes a day? That's not enough, Uncle Steph. Actually, understand the principle. I got this from boxing. So way back in the day, I learned how to box from a very good fighter. That's the key thing. When you're looking for a coach, by the way, whatever the coaching is, boxing, jiu-jitsu, coding, drumming, make sure you find a coach who has a provable track record of success. So when I went looking for my coach, my coach had an, an amateur record as a fighter of 77 and two. That means out of 79 fights, he won 77. So that is unbelievably good record, and it showed. So when I was boxing with this guy, we would have professional fighters would come in, and uh, yeah, <laughs> we do very well. Anyhow, that's another story. So uh, the 20 minute a day rule I got from him, and the discipline was in the boxing ring. Now. Bear with me, you'll see how it relates to code in two seconds. So the key is, is that um, you set up a discipline of daily activity in an allotted time. So in the boxing, we would have these uh, the buzzers in terms of the rounds. It was three minutes on, one minute off, or it was four minutes on, one minute off. It's been so long. The point is, is that when the buzzer said you train, no matter how you felt, if you're tired, you were distracted, you trained. Whether you were doing your shadow boxing, whether you were sparring, heavy bag workout, whatever it was, um, you trained. And when the buzzer said, rest, you rested. Even if you didn't need to rest, he would, I remember when I first started, uh, a buzzer came on to rest and I was like, yeah, I still feel good, I'll, I'll skip a little bit more. He said, no, 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 he came over and said, stop. When the buzzer tells you, you rest, you rest. And when the buzzer tells you, you train, you train. And what this does, it creates a discipline so that when the emotions are not aligned with your goal at that particular moment, meaning when that buzzer rings to start working and you've been disciplined to say, even if I don't feel like it now, I am disciplined that even though I don't feel like it, I will put in the necessary time to move closer to my goal. Same thing with coding. So what I do with the 20 minute a day rule is I create, I want to create anyway for you guys, a discipline, 20 minutes a day. Now, why only 20 minutes? Because 20 minutes for your lizard brain is very, very reasonable. If I say to you, you gotta spend five hours today to do your training in your, you know, encoding, you'd be like, oh, geez, five hours. But if I say it's only 20 minutes, you can squeeze in 20 minutes before you go play Call of Duty. You can squeeze in 20 minutes before you go out for a beer. It is an easily achievable goal. So that's number one. So it creates a path of least resistance. Number two, uh, with the 20 minutes a day, where you do that four to five days a week, this is the minimum, you get the all important frequency of exposure. Anybody knows how the brain actually works, the brain uh, it responds to that which it is exposed to on a regular basis. When it sees that you're doing something daily, your brain goes, wow, I guess this is pretty important. We're doing this every day. I better, develop, I better allocate some resources to learning this stuff since I'm seeing it every day. So you're better off, as an example, I'll use an hour just to make it equal, even. You're better off doing four one-hour sessions per week than doing one eight-hour session on one day. That daily exposure has a much greater impact than a big rush uh, on one day or a bit, you pack it all in on one day. So there you go. This is the trick. The trick is to set up a discipline of a minimum of 20 minutes a day, four to five days a week. That's the first trick. The other trick 
is to make sure you write code daily, something I talk about on a regular basis. If you are having trouble with comprehension, understanding the concepts behind the code that you're writing, you will come to understand those concepts by writing the code, even when you write it not knowing what it is you're writing. It's a weird thing, I know, but write that code, even if you don't understand it. With the writing of the code, with application of the code comes comprehension. It's not the opposite. Academics like to think that they can study their way to understanding and then go practical. It doesn't work that way. It's practical implementation, meaning writing code, will allow you to understand at a much deeper level what it is the code is doing. So 20 minutes a day, write code, even simple, simple stuff. There's one other trick that really helps and accelerates the learning process, but I have to leave that to another video because besides being a coder, I'm learning the art of the clickbait.